and that's time away from the test. Remember, it's 72 questions. Time is going to go like this, just like that. You're going to feel like you spend more time waiting outside on the line than you so did taking the test. Okay? So get there early with mom and dad, wait on line, and get ready to rock and roll and do the test. That's all you got to do. Okay? When you get there, when you get there, you're going to see there's going to be a lot of kids there. You might see people you know. You might see people you don't know. And then you're going to realize how serious it is that day. That's when you're going to start to get nervous when you get there. Because everybody there is going to look like, man, that kid looks like he's going to get 100. Well, this kid looks like he's really smart. And then people are going to start asking you questions on the line like, do you know this? Do you know that? Do you know this? And you need not pay attention to anybody. All you need to do is clear your head, go into the test, make sure you got what you need, and you'll be fine. Okay? And that's it. Um, but the main thing is, you can do all that, but if you don't bubble in the answers the right way, it's a wrap. Bye-bye. Okay, right. So, let's do it one more time. And remember, what's the school we're going to? Shallow. How many rounds of the test are there? Two. You've got to make sure you look at your ticket to find out which round you're scheduled for. And should we go to the test without the ticket? No. No, oh, that would be a smart thing, okay? Make sure you bring the ticket, okay? Let's go now and bubble. We did, let's do 34. Yeah. This is the part, is that? It's a question. The same, okay? But we'll find out before you leave today. All right, so don't worry about that. We'll take care of that. What if you have the ticket and you lose it? If you have the ticket and you lose it, big problem, okay? It all depends on when you lose it, okay? If you lose it like the day before the test, oh my God. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, but if you lose the ticket like a week before, you might be able to call a number and they'll reprint the ticket for you, okay? Uh, once you get the ticket, put it in the safe place. But if you lose it, the makeup test is free, okay? But the day of the test, if you don't have a ticket, you're not coming into the test. Don't worry too much about the ticket. I'm sure you're not going to lose it. Uh, but the main thing is, like Ken was saying, that ticket is your passport into the test. Remember, the people at the test site, they don't know you. Trust me, I've seen these tests. The line is humongous. Look, everybody's there. It's like a family affair. It's like a big day. There's pressure on you that day, right? So what you want to do is, because there's so much pressure that day, you want to make sure that you take care of the little stuff the day before. Okay? The main thing is you do the best you can. More than likely, you guys are going to be great. We have high expectations for you. You're all very, very smart. I don't see how any of you are not going to pass. But the idea is, you know, you got to go there, and if you see each other, you got to give each other support, okay? You know, stick together. If you happen to be on the line together, that's great. Because when you go there, you're going to feel really alone, all right? And mom and dad are going to be nervous. You're all going to be nervous. But you're going to do just fine. But the way you're not going to do fine is if you wait to the last minute on the day of to do everything you should do the day before, okay? And that's it. 72 questions, like Ken was saying. Um, they didn't make the test so you don't finish. You're supposed to finish. The idea is you want to avoid those brain shakers, though, okay? You don't want to waste too much time on one particular question. So if you get up to number 17 and you say to myself, uh-oh, Mr. S said, that's a brain shaker, don't waste too much time. But if you leave it blank and you don't answer the question, it's automatically wrong, so you want to take an educated guess. You don't want to leave anything blank, okay? And that's the idea. Um, they used to say, uh, when I was in school, the best answer is the letter B. Okay, it's always B. I don't know, lately things have changed, now it's C. But the point is, when you take the test, don't leave anything blank. Okay? So, what's the best uh, letter? Nowadays, no letter is the best. The best letter is the one that's right. Okay? So, when you're doing the test, make sure, make sure that you're filling in the right answers. Okay? So, we're just going to finish this sheet really quick. Okay? So, we got... Number 34, I want you to finish 34 all the way to 59. Go ahead. 